and listeners, welcome again to our final series on Did You Know Bible, Basic Bible Truths. Today we come with our last lesson and as we have said before, this program came about after we had realized as we did uh, Bible lessons, my friend and I, with many different people and we realized that Many people did not know about basic Bible truths. And that these truths help many of the Christians that know God to be grounded in their faith and also to strengthen their faith. So today, the title of our lesson that we are uh, talking about is, did you know that if you are not baptized by water in the Holy Spirit, you cannot enter heaven. As usual, we are going to introduce ourselves before we get into the lesson. My name is Mrs. Alice Mafanuke. I'm a child accountant by profession, but I love sharing God's word with others along our Christian journey. Alice, okay. My name is uh, Mrs. Alice Gatsi, and like Alice have said, we love to share the word of God with you people. And as usual, I urge you to take your pens and papers so that you can write the verses. Most of the time, we don't have enough time to read all the verses out to you. But you can read those at your own time. We want to thank you, viewers and uh, listeners, for being with us throughout this period of these lessons that we have been having. Thank you, Alice. Can you open for us by a short word of prayer? Okay, shall we pray? Our kind and loving Father who art above, we come before your throne of mercy. We want to thank you, Lord, and give glory and honor and praises unto your name for your worthy. We want to thank you, Lord, for guiding us through these lessons. And today, as we are on our last lesson, we still continue to ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us. And also the Holy Spirit to convict the hearts of the listeners and the viewers who are going to be watching all these lessons. We want to thank you, Lord, for leading us this far. And we want to thank you for hearing and answering our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. So Amen. Alice, can you please tell us what is baptism? Okay, like we have uh, say, like Mrs. Mafanuke has said that today our lesson is on baptism. Uh, what is baptism? To be baptized, you know, to, or, or else to say to baptize, is to immerse in water. And baptism is a Christian or religious public admission of showing that you agree with the beliefs and the teachings of Jesus Christ as taught by the church that one would have joined. In other words, baptism is the doorway into the church and the biblical form of baptism has a spiritual meaning. So anyone who wants to take this step of getting baptized should take it prayerfully and, and seriously. Baptism also symbolizes the beginning of a new life in Jesus Christ. Okay, so which means in the description we have already heard that mm -hmm. baptism is to immerse in water. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we just want to go on our journey and see what does the Bible say about baptism. Where do we first hear? Where do we first hear the mention of the of baptism or the practice of baptism? Uh, I will start by reading John chapter three, verse twenty-two to twenty-three. It reads, after these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea. And there he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Enon near to Salim, because there was much water there. And they came and were baptized. So we start seeing here the mention of baptism. At the time that Jesus was here on earth, 
and he himself was getting ready to actually get himself baptized as well. Yes. So the first person that we hear being recorded that he was baptizing was actually John the Baptist. Yes. Okay? And then now we want to just know which is the correct method of baptism. We have seen many different practices being carried out by different people. Yes. But let's find out what does the Bible say about the correct method of baptism. Okay. When I look uh, in Matthew chapter 3, verse 16, mm -hmm. it reads, And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning upon him. So we see here that Jesus, when Jesus was being baptized, it was in the water. We just read before that John was baptizing in the river Jordan. Yes. And that also Jesus himself went there to be baptized. So we can then see that the method which is supposed to be used is the definition from the dictionary said that it is amazing. It means it has to be something that has water in it. Mm -hmm. So you can carry on. Okay. And like Mrs. Mafanuke <coughs> said, when we talk about the message, it's actually sort of like drowning the person in the water. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to be completely covered by the water. Mm -hmm. So baptism requires a lot of water. Mm -hmm. It's not just a water in a cup or in someone's hand and mm -hmm. sprinkling and doing all that. We also see that in the Bible, when the disciples were now doing the work, when mm -hmm. Jesus had already do, gone in Acts 8, verse 30 to 39, mm -hmm. we, we, there's the story of the Ethiopian eunuch who was reading the Bible mm -hmm. on his way. And then he did not understand. And then the Holy Spirit spoke to Philip to say, go to that chariot. Mm -hmm. When Philip got there, he heard him reading. I've just read um, uh, verse 32. Mm -hmm. It says the Anak was reading this passage of scripture which says he was led like a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb before the shearer is silent, so he did not open his mouth. In his humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who can speak of his descendants, for his life was taken from the earth? And then this, this, this man, when he saw Philip, he just said, what are they talking about? Mm -hmm. And then, like we said, when we defined the baptism, that you need to be taught and believe the things that you are being taught and then you take the step to be baptized. Mm -hmm. So Philip went on to explain what this passage was talking about and who he was talking about. He told me he was talking about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And then the eunuch says to him, look, here is water. Why shouldn't I be baptized? Mm -hmm. And he gave orders to stop the chariot. Mm -hmm. Then both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water mm -hmm. and Philip baptized him. Mm -hmm. And you know, they were both in the water, mm -hmm. which means there was much water mm -hmm. which contained both of them. Mm -hmm. And then we hear, when they came out of the water, mm -hmm. the spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away mm -hmm. and the eunuch did not see him again, but he went his way rejoicing mm -hmm. because he had been baptized the right way. Okay. So and that's he, another example. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here when we look at the, I like this. 37 mm -hmm. of the chapter that you just read. Yes. And it reads, And Philip said, If thou believest yes. with all thine heart, mm -hmm. thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe yes. that Jesus Christ is the Lord God. Mm -hmm. And he commanded the chariot to, what? to stand still. Which yes. means initially the person had said to him in mm -hmm. verse 36, yes. See, here is water. water yes. What doth hinder me, me to be baptized? baptized. We basically also did understand that after you've been taught and you have understood, you need mm -hmm. to be baptized. Because it says then to him, there's so much water there. Mm -hmm. So here is the water. Why don't I be baptized? And mm -hmm. then you what? You then they go down, as you said. Mm -hmm. So you start seeing here that in the issue of the correct baptism yes. method, there has to be plenty of water. Yes. And the person who is being baptized has to be amazed. Mm -hmm. And I want us to take note that when we are going to look as we are going to read in the further verses, mm -hmm. we are going to see that Jesus himself was actually baptized in the river Jordan. Yes. And the Bible says they actually came up out of, of the, the water. water yes. As we have said the same when we are reading. Exactly. And also, to, just to emphasize on the teaching part of it, mm -hmm. verse 35, like we said, 
those who have got pens and papers, go and read Acts 8, verse 30 to 39, mm -hmm. which is talking about this story that we are talking about, Philip baptizing this guy. Mm -hmm. Then he says, then Philip began with that very passage that this man was reading, mm -hmm. and he told him the good news about Jesus. Mm -hmm. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, look, here is water, why shouldn't I be baptized? baptized. Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now, I also noticed that in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 5, yes. It says there is one Lord, one faith, and one, one baptism. Yes, okay. amen. Then the other thing now that comes into our head to say, what does baptism mean? What's the meaning of it? Okay. If we read from Romans chapter 6, I'm going to read from this 3 to 5. It says, know ye not that so many of us, as we're baptized into Jesus Christ, we're baptized into his death, mm -hmm. okay? Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Mm -hmm. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Which yes. means this issue of amazing, we are mm. saying we are dying with Christ and we are resurrecting with him. The dying with Christ is that we are dying from our old self. Mm -hmm. That life which we used to live, which was old, we are living it. So we are also yes. being buried with Christ. Yes. And then we wake up now because we are saying we are walking in the newness of life. Mm -hmm. And Christ died once and he was resurrected once. Which means then a person cannot then say, I'm dipped into water come out, mm -hmm. dipped into water and then come out. No, mm -hmm. it has to be once because I am dying to my old self mm -hmm. and waking up to a newness of life in Jesus. That's what Romans is telling us. Mm -hmm. And I want us to take note of one thing. Baptism does not make us clean. It doesn't wash anything in us it clean. Yes. It is only a symbol mm -hmm. of the blood of atonement of Jesus Christ. Yes. And also it is a public testimony that mm -hmm. I would be saying as a Christian, just like what uh, that uh, eunuch said to Philip to say, mm -hmm. I'm now getting into the water because I have read and I've understood. So it is like a public testimony, just like a wedding ceremony, mm -hmm. where you say, I'm now different. After my wedding, everyone will see that, okay, she has committed herself to this man, which means my life that I'm now living, I'm not then expected to be seen moving around with other different men. Because I've committed myself to one man in public and let everybody see, see that this is my new life. So the same thing as Christians. When we have gone, we have been baptized, we are saying we have died to the old life. Mm -hmm. Now we are resurrected with Christ, walking with Christ. So therefore our behavior and the way we do things is now different because I'm publicly telling the whole world that now I am walking mm -hmm. with Christ. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just to add on, on, on that, mm -hmm. John 3, verse, um, verse 5, mm -hmm. Jesus said, he was actually answering Nicodemus. Mm -hmm. He says, I tell you the truth, mm -hmm. no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water mm -hmm. and the spirit, mm -hmm. like we have said. And we mm -hmm. can also see, just to stress on the points that Mrs. Mafango is talking about, mm -hmm. the new life, mm -hmm. if we read in Galatians chapter 3, mm -hmm. verse 27, mm -hmm. it also says, for all of you who were baptized into Christ mm -hmm. have clothed yourself with Christ. Mm -hmm. So we also see that, you know, when you have gotten into baptism, you are actually saying, I'm starting a new life. Mm -hmm. The old life I've left, left I'm a new person. Mm -hmm. And also to add another verse on that, mm -hmm. I think Second Corinthians, mm -hmm. let's just read that one. I'm sure that would be my, Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse um, 17, mm -hmm. which says, mm -hmm. therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Mm -hmm. The old is gone, mm -hmm. the new has come. come. I'm reading from yes. the NIV version of the Bible. Thank you. So we Thank see you. that when you get baptized, mm -hmm. you are actually saying, I've left this old life. Mm -hmm. I'm a new person in Christ. Okay. Yes. And then the next yeah. one also is Mark chapter 16, verse 16, mm -hmm. where it says, He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believes not shall be damned, Amen. okay? I like another incident that happened when the apostles were preaching in Acts chapter two, mm -hmm. from verse 37 and 38. Yes. Now, when they heard this, 
they were pricked in their hearts yes. and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So we can see that baptism is very important. Yes. A person who is a Christian needs to go through this process. The interesting thing is that the person who is now making up their mind is an individual who has decided yes. in their mind that now I want to follow Christ. Mm -hmm. Which means the way they will live their life, whether people are seeing them or people are not seeing them, is different because it is an inner decision. Yes. They are not controlled by what's happening around to say, mm -hmm. is there someone who is seeing me so that they can see, see what I'm doing? Exactly. It's something which is in the person's mind and which means wherever they are, that decision regulates their life, whether mm -hmm. in private, in darkness, or wherever, or mm -hmm. in public, mm -hmm. their behavior is the same. Yes, mm -hmm. and also, they, uh, when a person needs to be baptized, there mm -hmm. are steps to be fo followed. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got only three steps here at the moment mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. just say, you need to accept Jesus as your personal Savior and Lord. Mm -hmm. You also need to understand the, the teachings of the Bible, mm -hmm. the teachings of Jesus, especially Jesus is the one who talks about baptism mm -hmm. of water and the spirit and also all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And also there's the confession of all known sins mm -hmm. and repentance. Mm -hmm. Those are the stages that one takes when they need to be baptized. Okay, I mm -hmm. think that we get it from Matthew chapter 28, yes. verse 19 and 20. Mm -hmm. It says, Go ye therefore yes. and teach all nations, mm -hmm. baptizing them in the name of the Father yes. and of the Son yes. and of the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. teaching them to observe all things yes. whatsoever I have commanded you. Mm -hmm. And lo, I am with you always, even unto mm -hmm. the end of the world. Amen. And same ex Peter that we had uh, read about, he, he, Peter had said to the people, mm -hmm. repent and be, be baptized, baptized, every one of you. Mm -hmm. So what we just said there, to say there are three things that we need to be so sure of, mm -hmm. that you need to be taught, yes. as Christ has said there, and you need to believe mm -hmm. and repent, yes. and you also need to forsake yes. your yes. past life. Yes. You know what I like about that is that there are some verses which really help us when mm -hmm. we have come to the issue of repenting. Because you see, repenting means I have left my old life. Yes. I am now working mm -hmm. in the in old new life. life. You know, if you are if, when we're now in the new life, when you now talk about repenting in Shona, we say kutendeoka. Mm -hmm. So kutendeoka means you have completely turned around. You are yes. not like standing in a certain position where you are not sure that you are going there or you are going there. Mm -hmm. You are decided. Yes. You are going in that direction. Now you have turned around and you are going to the other direction. Mm -hmm. That's what repenting means. Mm -hmm. And when we say that a person is believed, it means this is something that they have believed within their own heart, in their reasoning. Mm -hmm. Many times people are not aware of the fact that God gave us the power of reason, therefore he wants us to also have understanding mm -hmm. and use that power of reason even when we make decisions about him. Mm -hmm. So after you've been taught and you have understood, that's when you make that decision to say, I am now repenting. I like these verses which support us on repentance, which is mm -hmm. Isaiah 55 verse 7, yes. which says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous men his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Mm -hmm. You know, many times when people want to confess their sins and they want to change, they are scared to say all the things that I have done. Mm -hmm. Can God ever forgive me? But here we are being given assurance that God will forgive us for any sin that you can even think of, no matter how terrible that sin is. Mm -hmm. Murdering even, God can even forgive you. Even a person who has stolen or a robber, God can forgive you. God here he says anyone should be able to come and confess their sins. Romans 10 verse 9 says, mm -hmm. that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart mm -hmm. that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. So God is just waiting for us to confess our sins yes. so that we can change our lives. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another point that we just want to emphasize on that is that Jesus 
we understand from the word of God, from the Bible, never committed any sin. Mm -hmm. He died for our sins. Yes. But he had to be baptized mm -hmm. to give us an example, mm -hmm. to show us that it is necessary, mm -hmm. not because Jesus had done anything wrong, mm -hmm. but he needed to show us uh, the example. The, the example. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we can read from here, from uh, John 3, verse 3, 15 to 15, mm -hmm. when Jesus was talking, he says, no one has ever gone into heaven except the one mm -hmm. who came from heaven, mm -hmm. the son of man. Mm -hmm. And then he goes on to say, just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, mm -hmm. so the son of man must be lifted up, mm -hmm. that everyone who believes may have eternal, eternal life, life in mm -hmm. him. Okay. So as we get baptized, we are actually saying we want to have eternal life in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he just did that to give us an example. Okay, thank yes. you. Even, you know, when you talk about that, just to, to mm -hmm. emphasize that point, mm -hmm. when Jesus, we read from Matthew chapter 3, verse 13, it says, okay. then Jesus came into Galilee to Jordan and to John to be baptized. Yes. But John refused, he forbade him, mm -hmm. saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and you come to me. Yes. And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it be so now, for mm. thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Yes, 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 and yes. then he suffered him, which means John also understood that mm -mm, you are the sinless one, yes. and you I am the be sinner. So how can yes. you be the one? Who, how can I baptize you, the yes. sinless one? So yes. your point of saying he was doing this to for give us as an example, yes. even John understood it. And Jesus himself said, we need to, to do, do this. It, yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. okay. Then now, the mm -hmm. other issue that we then have is, it says, that we want to know that when I have now been baptized, mm -hmm. what is the implication to me as a, as a Christian in terms of baptism? Mm -hmm. I'll read from Galatians chapter 3, verse 27, mm -hmm. which says, For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ mm -hmm. have put on Christ. Yes. Many as we are, we have put on Christ. Christ. And then First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13 says, For by one spirit mm -hmm. are we baptized into one body. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, or have been all made to sorry, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Mm -hmm. Which means that no matter who you are, whether you are the poorest person on earth, or you are the richest person on earth, mm -hmm. or you are a Jew or you are whatever tribe, yes. we have now become one body because we've been baptized Christ. in Christ. Amen. Which means now we become members of this one body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay, now Alice, I would like you to give me your closing remarks okay. in terms of baptism. What is it that you'd want okay. to say to people okay. before I also give my closing okay. remarks? What, what I would like to emphasize is mm -hmm. that baptism in itself mm -hmm. is not a means of salvation. Mm -hmm. Like we have described, mm -hmm. it, you, you take steps to get mm -hmm. to baptize. You are not saved because you have been baptized, but we are saved because we've accepted Jesus Christ as our personal savior. Mm. We've accepted Jesus, uh, uh, accepting Jesus has to come first, mm. then baptism mm -hmm. follows as a public commitment to say, this is what I want now. Mm -hmm. Baptism in the Bible is not offered as an option of saying you can choose which way you want. Mm -hmm. No, there is always the right way of doing things. Mm -hmm. If we read Proverbs 14, verse 12, mm -hmm. which says there is a way that seems right to, to men, but mm -hmm. it is not. Then baptism is not for, or except for those who would have chosen a profession of faith on their part as an individual and believing in the atoning death of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. his burial and his re resurrection. We read that from John 1, verse 12. I'm sure you can go and read. And like I've said before, at baptism, you are living your old life of sin and starting a new life in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians 5, verse 17, which I'm repeating, which mm -hmm. says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. Mm -hmm. The old is gone and the new has come. Mm -hmm. I think that will be my conclusion Thank on you, this Alice. lesson of baptism. Thank you, Alice. Do you know one thing that's surprising? Mm -hmm. The people that are out there know that when a person says they are a Christian, they know that anybody who has publicly, de publicly declared that they are a Christian, they yes. have to behave different. Yes. But you know that if you say you are a Christian mm -hmm. and you do something different, the people who are out there who are not even going yes. to church are the ones that will say to you, if you are a Christian, so how come you are behaving like that? this? Yes. So it means the people out there know that mm -hmm. the moment that a person publicly declares that they are a Christian mm -hmm. and they've been baptized, their way of life is also supposed to testify of the same thing. Acts chapter 22 verse 16 says, mm -hmm. And now, 
why tearest thou? Arise and be baptized and wash away thy sins, mm -hmm. calling on the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So if somebody is understood about Christ, there really is no need for that person not to be baptized. And normally, yes. when you have actually heard Christ's word, like when mm -hmm. you were talking about the law and all the things that we spoke mm -hmm. about, the Holy Spirit will convict you mm -hmm. to say, you know what, you need to make a decision, you mm -hmm. need to change so that you live this old life and start on this new life. Amen. Now, to end this lesson of ours today, I will just end by saying, if you have been following, uh, following our lessons mm -hmm. from lesson one, when we started talking about how the Bible came, where the Bible came from, mm -hmm. and we talked about creation, we spoke about the Sabbath, we spoke about how man was created, mm -hmm. and everything was so good. Mm -hmm. And we spoke about the Bible, the law that God has put on earth to regulate men's behavior and Christian's behavior. Mm -hmm. You have also learned, if you have not, go back to our links and start going through all those lessons. Mm -hmm. It is our prayer and hope that as we did these lessons, mm -hmm. you were also following. Mm -hmm. So it could be that today you also learned about these things and you had these lessons. And today you have heard about baptism. And you would like to make that dedication to say, I want to be baptized. If you feel that you do want to be baptized, we are going to give you our numbers so that you can contact us. And please leave a comment on the page where you are watching from. You can also leave your number there. But the numbers that we are going to give you, Alice, give yours. Okay, my number is 0772-744-877. I repeat that number again, 0772-744-877. Okay. Or you can also get my number 0772-154-809. All you need to do is just to register your name if you feel you want to baptize. If there is a church next to you, go to them and tell them, I have learned about the method, the correct method of baptism, mm -hmm. that I need to be immersed into water once, come out of that water once as a public testimony to the world that I am now living a new life, life. with Christ. Mm -hmm. God bless you. We want to believe that you have followed these lessons and your faith in God is now strengthened. Mm -hmm. And please share the links with your relatives and friends mm -hmm. who might also want to know about God. God bless you. So from me and Alice, it's bye-bye. Bye. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. God bless you. God bless you.
Chandinga shaiwa shaiwa Anondi batisa pasi pasi Pama furo manyoro Nyoro Hini anondi sese zai Pampura ino zoro zai Pampura ino zoro zai Anondi se se zaini Pamvura ino zoro zaini Anondi se se zaini Pamvura ino zoro